Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate. Extella. My question is, if we change her clothes, does that change the big versions too? Let's see. It doesn't. Dang. Well, we're gonna try out that costume here. We actually saw like a lot of cutscenes. Um, so we're gonna be moving on to the second stage here, which is just a straight line. Very interesting. Um, we'll go, you know, I'm gonna go on normal for this one. Just for the fact that, like, it's just a single battle, it seems. But, uh, let's get going. Oh. We're in... Summer outfit. You get to see her hair length. Even though it's, like, it's tied up a little bit. She has pretty short hair, right? God, jean shorts on girls is cute. Well. Alright. I'm gonna let them talk first. Which I'm gonna do that first. Get that going, okay? Alright. Why is it always Jean that gets cut off, right? I have a friend whose name is J-E-A-N and I call him Jean and he says no it's Jean so then of course I go it's Jean it's Jean and then her, she comes up here and because my brain's in call him Jean call him now it's like now Jean's been ruined for me they did say there was two of them here. So I bet you after we beat her, we'll get another encounter. Following the King Conquerors, here comes the Holy Maiden of the Nation of Salvation. Her true name is Jean d'Arc. A world famous hero from France's Hundred Years War. Even if I'm not, even if I'm stored away in the ring, I can feel our hidden power from here. If the King of Conqueror's intensity is like an onrushing tank, the Holy Maiden is like a flow of cool, clear water. Beautiful, but also intense. After all, enough water can bring down a mountain. <laughs> たとえ貴様が津波に鳴ろうと我が猛威を崩すことはできない諦めろそして我が破壊の軍門に下れ下がうのなら殺しはしないトップサーバントであれば使い道もあるだろうからな私に下れとムンセルから伝達された情報とは it's so funny how in like extended media they're like an extra class wow and you get to like grand order and it's like yeah whatever extra classes we got a whole bunch of them when you say this time, are you speaking for yourself or are you speaking for... I think she's speaking for, like... She's speaking for the Moon Cell, right? Okay, the fact that she actually... I think she does fight with the flag unfurled there is going to be sick. I am a large fan of abnormal weapons, so fighting, like, with a flag, I mean, yeah, it has a, you know, pike pole at the end, but still, that's so good. Okay, here we go. 
Nice. One, two, three, four, five. I love that slam there. Okay, so she has her own counter breaker move. Okay, so that's a, yeah, that's a different one. That's a good little slam down. Although I love the little spinny. I love that so much. Still trying to find use for that um for that that one slash there. I guess it's just a getaway move, huh? Okay, let's uh so I was waiting for. That does let me continue my combo. God, I love just when a character has a sword and they just use it to spin in the air. It's like my favorite trope. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do this. Oh no, that, that instantly launches me up. Okay. Not good. Alright, whoop! I hit her! I don't know how, but I did. Yeah, god, that's cool. The galaxy slash there. Freaking rad. There we go. Oh, that's it? That's it, yeah? For real? Oh, it just cut through. Maybe it'll maybe there'll be more after. Because there's two servants, they said. A storm hits. No, more than that. I'm getting chills. Even locked away in the ring, I can feel them. An overpowering existence is coming very close. Someone like the King of Conquerors? No, not at all. Not like Jean d'Arc either. In the blur between the instant and the next, a hellish rain drills straight into the ground all around us. Wow, just completely fine with hitting everyone around. I, yeah, that fits. That fits. There's Goldie. I really like how bulky his armor looks in this, actually. <laughs> Yo, this theme, though. Boy, he is laying it on a little thick. Don't, uh... <laughs> don't let that one servant hear you call him that. この俺の姿を目にしてなお、果敢にも刃を向けてみせるとはな。どしがたいアホか。出なければなんだ。時を無駄に消費するな。口を開いても構わんと言っているのだぞ。That's a strong thing to say。俺はすこぶる機嫌がよい。貴様次第ではさらなる宝剣をくれてやる程度にはな。何しろ。so, because Gil is in CCC, right? I do have to wonder if this is a Gil that's gone through CCC or just, no, it's, this is just, just Gil as a top servant, right? I don't know. Probably not. And you know what? Not that I think he would even care. At all. Apparently, he uses clairvoyance to spoil most of the plot when you play as him in CCC. Which is the coolest concept ever, actually. Okay. 
そんなことはありえるはずがありませんいかにトップサーバントといえども He's just built different. I'm at a loss for words. I'm just as stunned as she is. That golden heroic spirit's presence overpowering, and he hasn't even revealed his true name yet. If I still have my memories, I might have known his origin. I try to see what I can sense, but all I perceive is enough、uh, is an enormous projection of noble phantasms, just like in that rain. <laughs> ブルーンの匂いがするお前は人間よりの真っ当な命の流れにいないなフッ呼ばれもせずに現れたか英雄王<笑> <呼ばれもせずに現れたか。笑> 英雄王世界最古の英雄キルガメッシュ。That's <笑> That's true, they would be. The King of Heroes Gilgamesh. That's the name of the hero from the oldest epic known to man, the first human to have his deeds passed on in legend. He was a cruel king who reigned in the city of Uruk, collected every treasure, and even defied the gods. How could this be? Even by top servant standards, he's incomparable. Any wizard in the Holy Grail War would know his name. Hell, I've lost my memories, and even I remember him now. It's no good. We can't possibly beat him. And yet, Altera still has her sword raised. Oh my god. This is. This is two very powerful beings just shit talking each other. Alright. Guild time. I see that over there. There we go. Avoid that. Okay. Get him a few hits here. The good news is this also gives us、uh, experience by killing all the other dudes around. Boy, they sure added jiggle to her. God, I love him just blasting at various angles with that. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get away so I can power up. There we go. Is that food? We'll get some of that. Oop. What's this gonna be? Okay. Another one? Why not? Again, big experience get. We still haven't gotten her regalia form, whatever that might be. So I'm curious what it will be when we get to it. So let's see, did, did we get a new. Did we get a new command list thing? We got a longer combo, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So it's the slash ups. Yeah, the, they, they do add them in the middle sometimes. I kind of like that, where it's like, we'll add an attack in the middle of the string instead. That's pretty cool. Oh, is he popping? No. Gilgamesh strikes without hesitation or mercy. He's no doubt aware that Altera fights for the Emerald Star, but he has no qualms about catching his own soldiers in the crossfire. The amount of artillery he's laying down would be terrifying just to watch, and here we are in the thick of it. In a sense, I'm more frightened of him than I am of Altera. Huh? A relentless destroyer. In those terms, they're both the same. I should have seen it sooner. Oh, is that what we're building up to?
God, what a chad. Oh, he's so cool. The king hears is right. Altera broke a sweat against the king of conquerors, but here she's up against the wall. If she can really transform into a world soaring titan, why doesn't she? Is her ability to transform restricted somehow? If so, it occurs to me that Seraph was built on information. We could theoretically reproduce the White Titan's data and unlock her power that way. Of course, that's a wild guess. この姿で地上をかけた記憶がある。1万 Ah, and now for the first time I understand something about her. Everything she just said was completely sincere. Every word of it was true and it came from the bottom of her heart. She may be the king of destruction, she may be a killing machine. She was born that way and I fully expect her to stay that way. But at the same time, just in this one moment I felt a quiver in her heart. Not as Altera, the vanguard of the Umbral Star. Not as Altera, the killing machine. If she can be a heroic spirit, then I... A poison! Yeah! You used a status ailment on me! Poison, she said. An offensive program designed to inflict continuous lasting damage. If that's the case, we have an option. A certain code cast can cure poison regardless of the nature of the target. This particular poison, having come from noble phantasms, might be hard to cure, but I can at least suppress it. Altera, I tell her. I'm gonna use a code cast. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Detoxify with the code cast. There we go. Objective complete. We almost got our meter. So we'll know for sure once we get our meter there. Okay. Let's pop this. Now, if we use this, this should give us our meter. To see here, let's see. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see. Do we have? Is it a transformation? No. Nope. She doesn't. Okay. That makes sense because the White Titan form is sort of meant to be her other form. So. Oh. She has her normal phantasm, sort of, where it's a stab. Yeah, except she doesn't do a Psycho Crusher. Cool. Sick. You'll love to see it. Hmm. なんに俺が話をつける相手は教神の方だったのだがなあれにならないというのであれば貴様に用を押し付けるしかあるまい優勢の先兵いやエレアルテラよ貴様はマドロミの中で全てを忘れたようだがな我が王国と貴様とは多
I guess, yeah, that makes sense. その相手は貴様ではなく貴様の方にだがお前が私と契約だと何身内の恥というやつよ this is the first time Gil's dad has ever come up. その折に貴様は神々に誓わせたのだ。この狩りは決して消えぬ。大将をもって返却せよとな。まったく。俺には関係のない夫妻だが、これを踏み倒したとあっては、ウルクの名に傷がつこう。よって神々に代わって俺が
言葉をたがえることはない貴様こそなんだムーンセルに呼び出されたようだがサーバントとは契約者に使えるもの英霊とはムーンセルを守るものではない最終的に人間の未来に重きを置く Yeah, he's, he's got some clairvoyance planning going on with the future, I'm sure <laughs> あの制服王がそうであったようにな奴め、最後まで自分の理由で戦いよってまあいい旗持ちの聖女よ果たして貴様が重きを置くのはどちらかな Uh, we do, yay! EX baby, Cohort Tauri. A lightning shield? Maybe? Viper mantle. Awakening ring. That might be interesting. We'll check that one out for sure. Alright. So, will we actually be able to, like, chill out now? Can we, can we hang out in our house? So, no, no, no. Those okay, yeah. The the swimsuits add bounciness, and that just looks ludicrous. It's like that's fine, but her default there is not. だが勝利を果たした破壊せずあそこまで持ち込めたのはお前の力サーバントとしての魔力供給を受けるだけの私のみでは到底かなわなかったお前の助力私は嬉しく思うnow get back in the cage you no matter what our contract looks like I am your master's of course I'll support her regardless of everything up till now I'll spare no effort in assisting her with my codecast from now on. She doesn't have to thank me. After all, our contract binds us together. Regardless, I feel like something has changed. Am I imagining it? It feels like we're both taking a step together. I know Altair is still an enemy about to destroy the world. I'm still afraid of her, still cautious of her, but even so... Something happened between the two of us today. Eat some more big old birds. Oh, you okay? Oh? What's this? I feel like I've walked in on something awkward. She's hiding her face like an ostrich hides its head. What is she doing? I don't remember saying anything to the other Altair that would have upset her like this. At least not that I'm aware of. If I did say something, I wish she would tell me. <sighs> you okay? Huh? Did she just whimper? Is she afraid of something? No, afraid isn't the right word. Alright, well, standing and watching this isn't gonna help. Titan Altair, why are you... Am I supposed to ride her hand up to the cage again? I could, but... Did I really just catch her that much off guard just now? She was so relaxed and elegant before. What happened? Your Altair has never been like this either. This is... No. 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 Did she just learn that masters have to dick down their servants to restore them with mana? Did she just get that juicy lore drop? Yes, I am, and her prisoner. But some things are no longer necessary. Some things need to end. Master, 
So she does know about our exchange in front of the throne, which means she should already understand. There's no need for the cage. I won't run away. Even if we're not exactly a traditional master and servant here, that doesn't matter. I made up my mind when I used that code cast because I am your master. <sighs> she acknowledges herself as the great king of destruction. She wants to be a person too. I don't know a lot about the Umbral Star, but I think I know Altera enough to trust in who she is now. I don't want to leave until I know who she will be. Trust me. Compared to some people who've who've had it out for me, um, your version of of torture is not as bad. この Good. How strange. I don't feel any hostility anymore. My first impression of her comes back to me. How beautiful she looked. Her red eyes, the face of a benevolent goddess. My fear of her hasn't gone away, but there's something else in me now, something to counter that fear. It's the conviction that Altair is someone worth fighting alongside even to the death. I'm gonna go to into the cage, I'm gonna wake up and there'll be like a little like hamster wheel. It'll be like a hamster water dispenser. Okay. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Look at that. We can actually do stuff now, including yes. Oh, they cha oh, I was like I was like I wonder what they changed them to. I didn't even see that they are the prisoners clothes. That's a, that's a nice touch. Um so Install skills. Thanks, Lubu. Uh, okay, so we only have the one right now. So the most important one is the uh, the one that does more as you... Yeah, number of KOs increases. That's the one. Bravery. Bravery's the good one. And let's see, what was that one that we got? It was... The... Awakening Ring. Treasure Up and Moon Drive. Just instant moon drive? Dang, really. Ah, uh, cohort's Alexandrite, because then that lets us do the change. Cohort lets us change, right? So let's get that one here. Let's see what we can get. Heal all, heal poison bomb. Interesting. Let's put that one on. Because now that we can change, I want to try that one for sure. Um, I also have some talking we can do. Let's do that. はい。質問ですか of course, I have no memories at all right now, so I'll take what I can get. Besides, I feel like a few things have already gone over my head, and I'm kind of curious about them. Okay, this is the one I'm most interested about. What's the body paint? Okay. Okay. I assume it's like a circuit, okay. Uh, 
How did you get to be so big? そうですよね。大きいのは事実ですし、私はどのような世界、どのような環境にあっても巨人として存在します。多文明における人の十倍の規模を持つ。おお。それが私の基本条件であり、私が生まれた星での常識でしたから、その中でも私は特別。あなた
初めてだったからですねそれとも誰かに質問されること自体が初めてかもしれないですね<笑>今日のあなたはとっても好奇心旺盛ですねでもこの辺りにしませんか続きはまた次の戦いの後にでも OK Well there's that Um other than that yeah we're pretty good to go I guess We'll, we'll, we'll switch you off to your next costume there. Altera Next Door, which is just such a good costume. That's so good. What it like a 10 out of 10 costume, honestly. All right. Well, that looks comfy. Hmm. It ain't really tired me out. I'm not just fatigued from using code casts, but also channeling mana to hero Altera. I'll eat a lot of mana. It'll eat. A I'll eat a lot to help my mana. I'll just have to sleep to give my mind a rest. Do I technically have a mind? No, of course I have to. No human could exist without one. Even a digital shell has a mind and a soul. And again, my amnesia can't possibly be natural. If my mind and soul were missing somehow, it wouldn't surprise me. In any case, I should try to process my thoughts a little bit before I close my eyes. About the Umbral Star, as well as Altera. Before today's battle, she said her duty was to conquer the Moon Cell and manifest on Earth and destroy all civilization. But that's a little different from what Archimedes said. He said he, er, he wanted to interfere with the Moon Cell and call forth the Umbral Star. Yes, he definitely, well, both of them want to control the Moon Cell, but maybe they differ on the details. Wait just a minute. Who's Archimedes? Oh, oh, interesting. Sword of Mars, Spear of Jupiter. Oh, once again, this is very interesting with all the gods. All right. Well, um, mm, what time are? We? Do I have enough time for a full chapter? You know, I think I do actually. Yeah, I have enough time for a full chapter. I was a bit worried, but I'm like, yeah, no, we'll do some more. No worries there. All right. So, let's talk. Mm -hmm. She did explain it when we first met, but there's something I'm not getting, or at least doesn't feel real to me, because she looks so much like a human. She's nothing like I imagined an alien from outer space would look like. And we've seen what some of them aliens look like in Grand Order. They don't look... They don't look like this. Although they do look they do look pretty similar to what she becomes, actually, now I think about it. Although it could just be that I'm not that imaginative. <laughs> So her makeup is the same as a servant in principle. Servants are summoned on the Seraph using data downloaded from Throne of Heroes and are built with Spiritrons, but she wasn't made on the Moon Cell. Sounds like she was made on the Emerald Star, right? Hi. It just blows my mind how, like, the extra universe and battle network are very similar. In other words, she used the moon cell like a 3D printer? That's actually pretty wild, because when this game first came out, 3D printers were very new. Wow, 
そして何よりも文明をかりそめの分身が息絶えて崩れ去る瞬間までそれが私の存在意義ですセファールという破壊機械が稼働する理由です、uh, well, let's go with the top one. Not frick. そうでしょうね私は優勢の先兵としてこの中域にある文明を根絶やしにするセラフを侵食しムーンセルを掌握してもう一度あの青い星の地上に降りて降りる手段は何でもいい1万4千年前のように分身でも構いませんし月をうがった星の船で降りてもいいいずれにせよ私は文明を破壊する私はそのために生まれたもの Okay, so let's go back because we screwed that up. We need to get her bond up, right? Let's go back. Let's talk to her again and be like, hey, actually, that's pretty depressing. Let's try here. Okay, so talk. Yes, skip. That sounds kind of depressing. Oh, it's like right here already. Okay. That's, that's the same. That's the same. Okay. Talk again. Hi. 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 Hi.私が作ったものです。きちんと作れていませんよね。きっと寝心地も悪いのでしょうし、座り心地だって気持ちの良いものではないのだろうと思います。いえ、わかります。ごめんなさい。不快な思いをあなたにさせたいわけではない。I get it. You're いや、literally what I said there, yeah. Yeah, literally what I said there, yeah. Yeah, literally what I said there, yeah. Yeah, what I said there, yeah. Yeah, literally what I said there, I can put up with it till tomorrow. Let's go with that one. Yay! So we gotta be honest with her. Okay. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta play up for for her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, no, I'm actually gonna call it here. We'll go off into battle next time, guys, because I have to pee so bad. Plus, we had a lot going on here. Actually, before we go, you know what? Let's let's take a look here. Um, is she in our gallery yet? She is. Okay, let's see here. Profile. True identity, Altera. Okay, so there's nothing about Attila the Hun here. Because honestly, I don't know much about Attila the Hun. At all. And she, it was that was brought up there. So let's see. Um, encyclopedia is is there anything about Attila the Hunt in here? Is there dark regalia? Let's see. Blood Ford Andromeda. We got the different ones there. Um, is this just the same one as before? Yeah, that's the same one there. These are basically loading screen tips, right? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, in that case, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna look up. I actually have very little knowledge about Attila the Hun. Like, I don't, because I've been... I was hoping the game would explain it to me. And I have very little idea. So let's see here. Attila the Hun. Spelt it wrong, apparently. Okay. Ruler of the Huns, uh, 434 until 453... 
Uh, one of the most feared enemies in Western and Eastern Roman empires. Yeah, that makes sense. Crossed the Danube twice, plundered the Balkans, unable to take Constantinople, unsuccessful campaign in Persia. There you go. It's, uh, wow, yeah, we're, we're getting we're getting everyone there. Sorry, what? Um, Attila would live on as a character in Germanic heroic legend, and his genocidal conquests are precursors to the later Imperial Mongol and Nazi conquests. Who named a mill? Oh no! Uh, wait, wait. The Sword of Mars is actually a thing. I thought it was just a random connection. I thought it was just a random thing, but the Sword of Mars is uh, had the Holy War, Holy War Sword of the Scythians. I've never even heard the Scythians. Ancient nomadic people, which was given to him by Mars and made him a prince of the whole world. By the end of the 12th century, the royal court of Hungary proclaimed their descent from Attila. Um, the sword of Attila was presented. Cavalry saber, so not what it is. Okay, it did not know that the sword of Mars was actually a real thing. Slash a folklore thing. I thought, whoa, okay, bruh, bruh. Brother connections. Okay, well, a certain shepherd beheld one. Ha okay, lift it limping, caused no wound. Da, 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 da. Dug it up and took it straight to Attila. He rejoiced, being ambitious, but he was appointed the ruler of the whole world. That the sword of Mars supremacy in all wars was assured to him. Okay, this is wild, though. Before the legend had been regarded, the sword was believed to be Joyous, the sword of Charlemagne. I cannot believe these connections. The Scourge of God. Bro, okay. Okay, so I'm learning that a lot less of this was made up for fate than what I thought. Because I legitimately didn't know most of this. Eight things you might not know about Attila the Hun. Well, tell me, history.com. Um, one of the most fiercest enemies, his upbringing was privileged. So he wasn't a barbarian. Once Attila rose to power, the first... Uh, shut up. He negotiated a short-lived peace with the Romans. Okay. He killed his own brother in a grab for absolute power. He invaded Gaul to win himself a wife. Power, power move, for sure. Suffered his first and only defeat at the Battle of the Cat Cat Catalonian Plains. Okay. Scroll to continue. I am. Hitler's teeth reveal not... Shut up. Uh, despite his legendary lust for gold, lived modestly and humbly. Okay. He ate nothing but wood on a... Uh, nothing. Sorry. <laughs> he ate nothing but wood. No, meat on a wooden trencher. His cup was wood. Was guests were given goblets of gold and silver. Uh, no gold, just very simple. He died horribly and mysteriously on his wedding night. Though gruesome was not the f <gasps> It's all connected! Uh, let's see. They married, was preparing another attack. During the wedding, the groom feasted and drank late. The next morning, after the king failed to appear, he was dead. And, uh, his hysterical person was there. Played a part in his death. Cautionary... Cautionary tale about the drain dangers of binge drinking and no one knows where he's buried. Very interesting. All right. Well, I learned a lot from that. I learned a lot. So, again, I didn't know actually a lot of this is like tied in. So, that's very interesting. Well, let's uh, call it here then. And next time, guys, we'll be back for some more. Do we got them all on the menu here yeah here they are uh yeah we'll be playing next time with some more as we continue on with her story uh so we'll see you guys next time for that then ciao